welcome to Photo Talk. Welcome to Photo Talk, brought by you, brought to you by Versace Studios. Yeah. Hey, look, brought, we got our shirts. Yeah, and yeah. I brought the logo to the live. Oh, yeah, we got our shirts. Where is my shirt? This year. There you go. And show it. but I have something that you don't. You know that. Yeah, I know. I have he's my got a, ex, he's got a ex, coffee book. It's ex, exclusive. <laughs> I'm the only one who has it. We're going to start to sell merch for Versace Studios. <laughs> That's funny. It's a nice mug. Yeah. I like those so, big ones. Yeah, they didn't have any bigger than this one. I wanted a bigger one because I, right. I, I actually don't drink coffee. Uh, what I'm drinking is my unbranded monster image. <laughs> <laughs> and I prefer... A taller mug, but they didn't. They didn't have it. So, uh, okay, let's. We did some upgrades here, so we live by one rule and one rule only at Versace Studios, and that rule is: go big or go home, baby. Always. So, this is Rome set. He just tricked me last week and he built a whole new set without telling me and just show up with a new set. And, you know, I could not get behind. So it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. I have to say it's a work in progress. He's got a pineapple. I have a pineapple. I have a pineapple. I just paint the whole, the whole room and I just did so much stuff here. Oh, shit. I have a Coke in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I did so much stuff here and I could even bring my red chair. Can you see my red chair? You love that, don't you? Oh, I love it. <laughs> you don't. You hate it. <laughs> so, good evening, everyone. We are back for one more photo talk brought to you by, by Versace Studios. So, just tell us in the comments, where are you watching us from? The topic from today is... You don't remember, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done doing a shoot, so I was like, I was all in butt to get here. I had to set up all this stuff all over again. I was like, oh, yeah. finally. <laughs> That's a problem because uh, all the gear we use for these videos, we used to shoot. So every time we have a shoot, we have to take everything down and then put everything back. <laughs> I literally had to do it in five minutes, so... I'm a little off. <laughs> okay, the topic today is create creativity for photography. Creativity. How to get yeah, how to get create creative with your shoes. How to get how those to, juices flowing. Yeah, because this is at least for me is a really hard thing. Uh, uh, it's based on a lot of work to get my my shoots to the next level to bring up mm -hmm. new ideas for those shoots, and right. it's really hard. It's really hard. So. Tell us about your process. Can you tell? Uh, I don't know if you can. Can you tell about yeah. about your shoot today? Oh, what the sports shoot? Yeah, the sports shoot you did. You sent me some uh, uh, footage from it, oh, and yeah. I thought it was really cool. People, uh, just tell us if the music is too loud. It's our first th time with music, and I'm loving it. So and just tell by us the if way, the music... YouTube it's royalty free, and we're allowed to. Yes, yeah, so don't block our videos. <laughs> So, but uh, no, it, I did a kid's sports shoot. Um, it's basically like an assembly line. So pretty simple. Did it by myself because, you know, what's his name had to work. So yeah. I saw your setup there and I noticed your street bank was not pointing to the subject. You were not doing a three edge or like yeah, it was. Uh, you were, it was also was yeah. maybe the, the depth was, of the video trick me. Yeah, it was it was just it was to the side and behind him, so it gave him a rim light. So it was good. The pictures actually came out great. So yeah, Can't we're gonna see it soon. Probably. Okay, so let's talk about uh, how to get creative. All right, creativity starts when you start dreaming. I'll be honest with you, I got more stuff dreaming of it, and then. Honestly, 
put it, put your dreams in a book, you know, um, you know, if you, something pops in your head, like I keep a little book with me, it's not here, but it's in my car, but, uh, I keep a little notebook with me. And if I come up with an idea or I see something that I think is cool, I write it down, you know, and, and I got this, I got probably 200 pages of, of ideas. Whoa. And, uh, but what's nice is, is when you, when you get these ideas, and you put them on paper, you won't forget them. That's the biggest part. And I do things like, um, I don't know. I had this idea with a flamingo feathers all over the head. And I mean, it was just weird, but oh, thank you. You know, and, thank you. I mean, I'm taking notes right now. <laughs> but I mean, the idea is get inspiration from something, you know, like I saw a statue the other day and I was like, dude, it would be awesome if I could plaster somebody. And make them look like they're a statue. I just think that'd be cool. Or maybe some white paint or something. I don't know. Uh, you know, something that gives it a heart and a crackle. So uh, I had that in my mind yesterday. But everything around you creates something, like some type of creative idea. And as long as you write it down, you will have that idea later. And it'll hit you because you'd be like, oh, I remember this. Oh, wait. And then the best part is, is you want to, you want to kind of, I suck at drawing, but I make some type of drawing for my vision. You are helps. kind of half of the world suck at drawing. I'm, I'm really bad at it. I cannot even draw houses and cars like little kids, you know? Well, I honestly, I tell my son my idea and he draws it. <laughs> Yeah, because our son is really good on this. He's yeah. really good on this. Uh, I suck, but he sees what I'm trying to do, and he'll go and draw it. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And then I'll figure out how to light it and what I want to do behind her, you know, what foreground I want. So really, the artistic vision comes from all around us. You know, you could be seeing a butterfly. And you want to do something with a butterfly in the eye and make the eyes colorful or something, you know, just, just the way you look at it. Um, you know, everybody draws inspiration from somewhere. Yeah. To me is more like a whole process because I, I was a creative person to the moment I start to work with IT. When I start to work with IT, I just lost it. Like, really lost it. I, uh, it's hard for me to come up with ideas. Right. And what I do right now is research. Like, lots and lots of research. I go what to Pinterest. I, uh, it depends on the kind of, on the type of the shoot. I go over all pictures I can find on the topic, you know? Like, if I'm doing a beauty is, shot... This is what I say about that. Don't look at other pictures. I never copy it. I never no, copy I it. I know. But that's but, it. The, the point is, get a vision in your head and create your vision. Right now, what I have in my head, uh, I want to do a beauty shoot. I'm waiting for my makeup artist to come back. Because, uh, do you remember that movie, uh, Hellboy? Yeah. I want that in a girl. All red, with the horns cut, right. and blonde, and... It's kind of a simple idea, but Dude, it's I what see keeps that me moving. With, like, you know, a big old hammer? Like yeah, or some I, kind of tool, yeah. You know, give it some type of night scene look. Like she's... Badass. You know, some type of movie theme style. Yeah, for lighting, like uh, a really... And this is what I focus more because I love to light. I just love to use flashes. Yeah. So I was thinking about uh, something very dark uh, in a Rembrandt or mood. Uh, no ring light, no ring light. Kind of just... Uh, uh, Mixing with the background, like going fading with the background, so blending that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, blending in the background in the shadow side. We well, do a lot of that post, 
Yeah, I can do a lot of in post, but yeah. it depends. It depends. Uh, you can you can get a lot of in ca- on camera, you know. Well, yes, you know. Uh, so, guys, if you want to show pictures in the live, just hashtag us on Instagram. I'm opening Instagram now and checking our hashtags. Uh, if you want to join the live, oh, we have this shoe. I forgot that. So, if you want to join the live and talk to you live, right? Uh, talk to to us live here. Just uh, post in the comments hashtag join, and I will show you the link. I will send you the link so you can get in, hop in the live and start to talk to us about the process of being creative. Well, we could we could put the link in there anyway. Okay, just, just join the link. But yeah, the. Uh, being creative is not difficult, but I can tell you what, it's a lot easier if you include like a makeup artist and you let that makeup artist kind of help you with getting some juices going. Uh, you know, they have creativity that they they got too. So, you know, they could think of how to do makeup. With what? Oh, oh my God. I There's something it. wrong with my keyboard. That's okay. not good. So, yeah, so it's, uh, we definitely, you definitely want to include a lot of other people when you're doing really super creative stuff, especially, um, you know, if you're dealing with clothing, sometimes you can get some really cool clothes ideas from, from clothing designers and, uh, they definitely know how to do some awesome stuff with with clothing so how and, much the thing uh uh how, how much on your idea your team uh uh change it or your team put it, new thoughts on it you know oh all the time we do it you got to do a think tank you know what i mean you want to have uh you want to do think tanks at least once a week, you know, where everybody's just being creative and then y'all come up with an idea and then one day out of the month or one day out of the week, you know, get up there and everybody gets together and puts it together. You know, each person has their own deal. You know, I got makeup artists that do their makeup. I got hair designer that does the hair. I got the, you know, clothing that does clothing. You know, set designers sometimes. I'll get somebody that, that likes doing sets and they'll come up with a super creative set. Yeah, this is yeah. really hard to find here. Set designers. Uh You'd and be they are their hide. They are a must. They they really help a lot. Yeah. They really look at the foreground, the background. I mean, you know, us as photographers we look at that too. And we can do it ourselves. But when you got somebody that really knows what they're doing, like I found actually high school kids that are in drama class. Oh my gosh, man. Some of those guys are so creative. So, you know, and they're so happy to help. They're like, yeah, I want to do that. I'm like, all right, cool. Come on, let's do it. For free, for free, for free. We're creating (laughs) art. You know, we're not selling it. We're just, we're creating it. And if somebody does pick it up, well, I spread it to everybody that worked on that, that shoot. You know, it's not just mine, it's everybody's. So, you know, collaboration is a huge thing. And if more people started collaborating instead of, you know, well, I'm a photographer, but I'm not going to tell anybody my secrets. Please. Uh You can go on freaking YouTube and find secrets. So, you know, I mean, we give away secrets. I haven't seen anything yet that we haven't given out. You know, somebody asks a question, it's, it's basically, we'll tell you, you know, so. Yeah. One thing that you can be sure is that it's nothing that we're not going to share. If you ask, we're just going to share. Uh, we are dropping some pieces of it, like every live. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you have any questions, just ask us, we're going to share it. And the links are in the chat. If you want to join us, just click the link and you'll be brought you'll be brought straight to the live. Yep. So, you know, it's it's interesting. So 
even simple shoots you you go through a creative pro a process or just like the shoot from today is a simple is a simple shoot something that you are used to do uh, uh yeah. how do you work yeah. with it is there today, a creative process for it nah today is basically like an assembly line you have everything set to a certain f-stop certain you know shutter speed iso and then you gray card the beginning then you test it with the light in the back how many kids just, you shot it was 14 it was small oh that's a small shot yeah no i would have been done in 20 minutes if <laughs> if it was a big one it was not but, mo more much more than that but i did land being there the guy liked it so much that he's doing a basketball camp that has over 2,000 kids. And that's a good shoot. Like I said, just professional. And people actually like what you do. So, you know, a lot of people are fascinated with it. I also met another photographer today. That's cool. Well, uh, another place. Coming back to the topic. Another place to get inspiration for shoots, and that I think is really good, at least for lighting, I really like for look, look to, for the lighting, that kind of uh, uh, thing. Movies. Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, I movies just is love... Huge inspiration. Uh, Citizen Kane. Look at the lighting on Citizen Kane. It is freaking phenomenal. That last, that last war movie, I think, is 1917. I don't yep, really know the name movie. of the the movie in in English. I just know the name in Portuguese. Uh, But the photography on that uh, that movie was amazing. Yeah, but that's videography. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting to do something inspired inspired on it. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, you know, like I said, inspiration comes from everywhere. So you know, you can look at movies. Movies do a good thing. Uh, Movies bring out ideas, and you can see how they lit things. You know, like Citizen Kane is one of them. Citizen Kane was a black and white movie, but the artistry and light was phenomenal. I mean, it drew, it drew emotion. So, and there's a whole team working on it. So. It's a very good place to to look for inspiration. And gaffers, let's be honest, they really yeah. nail down the light every time, every single time. I don't remember watching yeah. one movie after I became a photographer where I say, hey, he lit this stuff wrong. You know? <laughs> well, they do a lot of storyboarding. Basically, every shot has a storyboard. And that's what I mean by doing your ideas, you know? If you have your ideas and you put them on paper, just jot down what it was. Just just a quick idea. Um, like I have an idea of a shot. It's a war movie shot, right? Where the guy is going to come and he's like, he's basically a sniper. And I want to kind of put mm -hmm. him in there, you know? And I think, I think it'd be cool. Just having some smoke going, making it look like it's hazy. And this is something that really uh, matches with your personality because you were you were military uh, yeah. uh, military. So it's something that really should move you to do it. Like I want to do it right now. I don't want to wait for tomorrow. You know, I always have that feeling. <laughs> it's like me. It's like me with music. I was right. talking to to a friend of mine because I had this idea, this concept. Mm -hmm. I want a piano. I want a brown piano. I don't want a colorful piano. I want a brown piano because I want to do a, a warm picture with yellow lights inside the piano and the guy just playing in the dark, you know? Yeah. But I reach out from... By the overlight. Yeah. I, I just called the dude. Cool. He had a piano and yeah. he saw the piano, so... I lost my opportunity to do that a specific shoot. I got a black piano. You can borrow it. <laughs> yeah, just put it on a plane and send it here. Or you could just come here. I got models. Yeah. 
what is what is the name in English for that formal suit with that the uh, jacket Coat just coattails? No, it's like a the movie coat. from. It's a tail coat, but there is a name for the whole suit. I don't remember the name, but anyway, I want one of suit? those. Tuxedo? Yeah. Tuxedo. That's the name. Tail, I want the dude in a tuxedo. tuxedo. Yeah. And the brown piano, I want a yellow light. Uh, this should be a, a one of those. Because you have several kinds of piano. You have the, the tall ones that looks like a, a wardrobe. And you have right. those around it. I want the lid open. Yellow light coming from outside. The guy, the dude will be lit from uh, up. Up and down uh -huh. uh, from the top, yeah. and I had this idea, and I, I'm crazy to do it, but I don't have a piano. You know, you could use a cardboard box and compose a piano into it. Yeah, that would give a lot of work, and it's not gonna look yeah. good because there will not be the reflection of the coat over the wood and the piano. So, I could put a good evening, Rafael. In a cardboard, in a regular cardboard, you can put a reflection. Oh, put the piano with the card, like over the cardboard. By the way, I have uh, one announcement. You see this color? I'm not green anymore. That's yeah. Rome's, you know? This guy, this guy yeah. is a wizard of color. He I don't is, know what you're talking about. Trust me. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I was, ha I was having trouble with my, with my color. On all my videos, Rome just fixed that in five minutes yesterday. Period. Bad. And one more, my as we mentioned at the beginning, my polo shirt just came out. I want to say a big thank you to where is the name of the dude? His name is Joyce, and the name of the company is Camisetas em uma hora. It's a very creative name. T-shirts in one hour. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a very creative name. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, really glad. Just got my branded polo. And now we are branded. So that's why the Versace logo and not the Photo Talk logo. So if we change names in a few days, don't worry. It's the same Photo Talk. But <laughs> we are just pushing our brand out. Why not? So yeah, we're we're moving leaps and bounds. I mean, we've done so much so far. I think this could be a great time. Yeah, and that the point uh, everything here is started and, and this is something that you should know. Everything here is started when From I idea. call home. No, before that, even before that, even before that. Yeah. And that's why I say we share everything we know. Everything started because I needed help. I had a problem. Mm -hmm. And a friend of a, a, a mutual friend just put us in touch. We start he's to probably, talk and he's, huh? probably, over he's here. probably watching. Yo, <laughs> Phil, you there? If you want to hop in, just tell us. Uh, a mutual friend just put us in touch. We start to talk, mm -hmm. and all these projects start to just do. We, we connected like brothers. I mean, it was yeah. I mean, our talk ideas like, are exactly the same. We talk like girls, and we both, uh, you know, sailor talkers. Yeah. So, and, and this thing was growing and growing, and Rome is kind of the creative part. I'm the hammer. I, I hate everything and I make <laughs> He's audio. I can't do audio. We can do. Uh, in fact, to be honest, uh, and, and this is good to talk to photographers because videography is a thing now. Doing lives totally is different. a thing now. It's totally different, but it's something that you can learn. It's something that you can use. It's another service that you can offer. So put yourself there and try to do it. Yeah, I mean, you saw my first video. I'm like, our oh, first video was really <laughs> funny because oh, God. home was Rome was kind of nervous of going live, 
and I was nervous about speaking English. <laughs> yeah, look at you now. Now you don't shut up. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think uh, we just covered. We had, we had a topic for one hour. We covered the whole topic in like half an hour. We speak, we speak so fast. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, so you know, with creativity, creativity starts with just an idea. That's the biggest part of creativity is you want to have it start with an idea. And how do you get the idea? Look around. Uh, look at what's going on in the world. Maybe you got something that you want to do creativity, creatively, you know, utilizing a real thing that's happening. Uh, you know, it could be funny. It could be serious. It could be sad. It could be sad. See, so we're talking about the same stuff. You really want to, when you get creative, think of an emotion to pull out. That's the biggest part. Is people like an emotional video? Or what about when you image? What about when you have your creative uh, aspect kind of constrained by the job you are doing, but you still want to put it out? Like uh, is unbranded Coke, okay? Coca Cola is unbranded. Yeah. Like you have a job, <laughs> you have a shoot. You're gonna shoot. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about me. I have a shoot schedule. I just got a, a confirmation. Mm -hmm. I will shoot a doctor. Uh, I will shoot, of course, headshots, a regular mm -hmm. headshot. But she wants some kind of creative uh, pictures, environmental, environmental for her website. So uh, yeah. now you are a bit constrained. You have some kind of uh, rules you have to follow because you still have to pass the message through. You need to right. show that she's professional, she's accessible, she's a good uh, woman. It's What easy to talk to her. Uh, I think she's a dermatologist. Okay. So she likes to pop pimples. <laughs> yeah. Get a nice oozy pimple. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, no, but, you know, really, when you do something with a doctor, you know, get them in their environment. They feel so comfortable when they're in the environment. So have some, I'm pretty sure she has people that work for her. You know, they could, you could use one of them as a model does that make sense so yep. you don't have to use some other person that's doesn't really want to be out there you know what i mean uh -huh. um, uh, or the doctor has a significant other that would probably do it too so could it be the patients yeah, yeah you don't want to do patients there's pacing confidentiality stuff so No, no, no. What I'm telling is the model could play the patients. Right. That's what I mean. So, you know, you could actually get close-ups of her about to do something, you know. Uh, Pimples. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Or a big boil. <laughs> 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 yeah, you see that stuff on TV, so... <laughs> Mm. No, I saw it for real, but there's a story for another day. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, but I mean, you want to get some stuff with her in front of her staff, you know, her interacting with her staff, um, you know, a picture of an idea would be like her sitting at a desk, you going through the door, I guess. I don't know. However, their desk is set up, but you're going to, make her clear with like a clipboard like she's taking notes and have kind of the what looks to be the patient would be blurry you know you have some some type uh -huh. of foreground bokeh and then uh -huh. behind her behind her you could see you know some of her accomplishments i mean those guys go through a doctorate so you know i'm pretty sure she has Uh, some type of certificate or diploma on the wall. You know, it's little things like that uh, that people want to see because it gives credence to who they are. You know? 
And there is another thing because even being a commercial shoot, you could make like a, a, a production line and just go there and do whatever the same you do to every other professional. This is mm -hmm. not what you're gonna sell your work. You you need to right. be different. You need to give need to something different. more to the customer. You know, give them some super close ups, some wide angles. You know, get the front of their business. Uh, you know, do their show room, their waiting room area. You know, they they put a lot of money into those places. So, you know, they they want that stuff. No, you ju you just gave me some some idea now. Uh, an idea now. I can just do some close-ups like they do on real estate like they get just uh, uh, a small part of the ambient like a side table uh, uh, yeah. or something and you know she could put all her tools on there and then you could kind of get a sign yeah, with yeah. all the tools you mm -hmm. know uh, you know a group shot definitely that's another one that goes in there you know yeah group shot a group shot I think is the basic because you need to show the staff you want to show the staff in the website so yeah. well one good thing that i've never seen on facebook and don't anybody copy my shit uh, i will copy right now <laughs> i will be the first one take, to copy it and you know it take individuals on like a gray backdrop right you take each individual the doctor would stand like this and then their staff would be on each side and you make a you make a wedge you know in a you're going to use basically a uh, uh, composite. You <laughs> have a picture get... like that for kids. Sport yeah, I had kids. a volleyball. volleyball. You have one. I remember you showed me. Yeah, but do that with a doctor. So when they put it on Facebook, the little top banner, you got their whole team just like, yeah, we're the baddest. You know, just, I don't know, just throwing something out there. It's like that pawn shop. Uh, what is the name? Of the, the the history channel, the pawn shop, the pawn oh, dude, oh yeah, pawn stars, Chung Lee, Chung Lee, yeah, pawn <laughs> stars. It's fun. My kid likes that show. I hate it. Really? Yeah, dude. He, it a, just shows you. Have, it shows you how bad they rip people off. I, I just have a great time when people come there with, oh, this is a signature, a, a signed oh, uh, yeah. a book from someone. And, and oh, then the this is fake. I'm goes, sorry. I'm sorry, it's fake. <laughs> yeah. And then Chubbly's like, well, I'll buy it for 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. I have a great time with that. So, yeah. I mean, so what are you trying to do something creative? What's something on your, on your creative agenda? Mine? Yeah. I have that shoot and... As well, I told you these days. I'm talking about something that you piano one? creative. The yeah. piano one? The piano one is creative. It's yeah. just for well, me. One, just because I one want. You, what's one that you can do? Uh, that I can do right now? Uh, I'll have a model next week, but I still didn't set what I would do with it. Yeah. Uh, there was something I saw it before as a concept. Uh, and the problem is everybody's like doing it right now and this pisses me off that I want to do uh, a split background, black and white, black one side, white in the other side, make the shadow part of the girl in the white part and the little part of the girl in the black part. Yeah. Uh, I want to, I want to do that with a red dress in front of the black and white and with some kind of red piece headpiece yeah. like with I, I don't know how to uh, I don't know the name but you know widows when they use that stuff in front black stuff in front yeah. of the face the netting. I want a, a head a red piece with a black stuff in front of their face I don't want to see the face I just want to see the 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 black uh I don't know the name you saw it netting. you said it twice uh, the netty uh, in front of their face. That that's what is in my mind right now. That is yeah. much easier for me to do, and I have all the props I need to do it. Sure. I red mean, lipstick, can, by the way. I, I, I love red see that. lipstick. Home. <laughs> Who does it? Uh. So yeah. You can Anybody even see that. Questions? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, I thought you're gonna give me more ideas. Give me more ideas. 
don't know. Oh, I like the song. Is, the song is kind of Santana stuff. Kind of. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, so, does anybody else want to talk anything about creativity? I had idea? one I did. I had one I did previously. Uh, it was an implied nude with a violin. I think I show you. I think there is. Uh, I think it is even on my you know, Instagram. I found a lot of musicians want to do stuff like that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, musicians like music instruments. You know, I just love them. Yeah, I know. I had a time. Uh, uh, just one saxophone. I took the <laughs> guitar out because you can't play about the guitar. But yes, For photographers. I have my saxophone right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah I, knew. I knew there was one somewhere. So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, so we definitely. I'm trying to think of something with your red, red shoes, red high heels. So, while he thinks on something, don't Stop forget right. to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next show. Hey, Brian. How are you, man? Hey, Brian. You want to get on? Want to get on? Come talk to us. The link is right there, buddy. If you want, just hop Scroll in. Scroll up. <laughs> no, I just sent the link. Oh, you just sent it. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> click the link and you show up for us here and we put yeah. you in the live. He said, he told me, he sent me a message, uh, Last time he goes, oh man, I I missed. I was too late, so I couldn't get on. <laughs> so no, just get in. You can get in from your phone. You can get in from anywhere, any device you you work. You just have to click the link, and you the the link will bring you to the studio. Yep, and then we'll, we can bring you in like magic. So yeah. yeah, so we're talking about creativity, where where you can get it. Where it inspires, you know, what we do. Ooh, hey, there he look is. Look who's here. Yay. Look at Brian. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Come on. Hey, Brian. Come on, Wuta. You know how to Still speak that language? language? You know how to speak that uh, Brazilian language? I don't know if you I think. <laughs> He doesn't speak Brazilian, but it's no, not Brazilian, it's no, no. Portuguese. Portuguese. But, si, yo hablo español, but un poquito. <laughs> so, Brian, what are you doing for creativity? Um, Lately, I've been playing around with composites. They seem to have been grabbing a bit of a interest in my behalf. I, yeah, they've been kind of fun, you know. Um just being able to blend some images together and make something cool out of them. I think I sent you one of that eagle and the American flag. Yeah, um, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, so little stuff like that. And recently I just did another one of a photo that I just, that I know got done surfing. And um, it was like, like a nice headshot of him. And then mm -hmm. I happened to take another photo of a nice surf in the background. So I blended them both together because I couldn't fit it all in one frame. The original idea that I had, I, just, I wanted to take that um, take that wave and somehow incorporate it into his mind and just kind of like kind of like lower the opacity and kind of like having just kind of misting out of his head somehow to kind of yeah. represent that that's what is on his mind all the time, you know? Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, so you're trying to do like a double exposure. Yeah, with Photoshop, basically, not in camera. So yeah. that's no, one you. thing that, honestly, uh, uh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know if the 6D Mark II can do it on camera, but it's something yeah, that okay. always, always made me uh, uh, excited, but I never did double exposure. I never did. I don't even know where to start, but it's something that yeah. always got me excited. I think I did it once and I was done. <laughs> really? I did it once in camera with a, I think it was a, yeah, in my acoustic guitar and then um, some sheet music that I had. So That's we cool. have another musician. Yeah. yeah we have like another musician. <laughs> I play piano, you play guitar. 
What do you play? I, I play Sorry. bass. I'm a bass player. But I, oh, look at that. We almost got yeah. a band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need a drummer. We, we need to find a drummer. I used to drum. But uh, I don't have a drum. Yeah, right. So, yeah. So, I mean, we're talking about creativity. So, what gets you creative, right? Where do you get your juices from? How do you get the new ideas? I don't know. Just, they just kind of show up. You know, I think of something and then I, I seek it so, through. I see it through. So, do you, do you write up down? Um, no, I probably should. But, um, you know, just sometimes it's just kind of like a spur of the moment thing, you know, like if I'm creating a panorama photo, you know, I like I, I'll see something or well, I really want to make this whole image work. So then I'll shoot a pano and then, yeah, that's kind of how I move forward with a lot of my um, creativity process with photography anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, like I was telling people, I know you aren't here yet. Um, but I was telling people, keep a little notebook, and whenever you wake up from a dream, write it down. If mm -hmm. you if you you know keep it with you all the time, because you never know when that inspiration of something would come up. And if you write them down as you see them or it hits your mind, you can relay it back once you see it again. You know what I mean? Yeah, that so, makes sense. You know, it just, it gives you a nice platform. Like, like I told him, I have 200 pages right now of just different things that I've seen that I was like, dude, that'd be a cool photo shoot. Oh, that'd be cool. You and know, I think what ideas. is even better is that later you can just read through it and kind of combine ideas and make a yeah. whole new idea out of it. Yeah, agreed. Exactly. So, you know, and when you get that idea, now you can actually start formulating, you know. If you if you know uh uh maybe you want to do some type of high fashion, maybe you have an idea for something, now you can get with, you know, you can let a hairstylist know and say, Hey, this is an idea I'm coming up with for a photo shoot. We'll be part of it and help us out, try to figure out how we should do it. And sometimes they, they love it. They're like, Yeah, oh dude, that'd be so fun. So, you know, gives you something to do once a month. Sure. You know? Um, uh, what else do you do for creativity? Um, <clears throat> I mean, geez, a lot of stuff that I normally do is to some level of creativity. You know, um, I'm an auto mechanic, so I'm constantly problem solving things and, um, and I have to be creative. <laughs> I'm in a lot of repairs, so. but, um, right. in the artistic end, I mean, um, you know, I, I, when I did play a lot of music, there was you know, stuff was just always popping into the head and. You know, yep. just walk around all day humming a song just because you can't get it out of your head and you rush home and then you try and play it and, you know, um, that type of thing. And, you know, back in my old band days, what we used to do is just roll the tape player and have it record during the whole practice and then review it afterwards. Kind of like your um, notepad idea, basically, you know? Beth? Yep, that's, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. So, we know, you know, we know right? that music like listening to music kind of uh influence your feelings and does well, this is always influencing yeah is this helpful for creating new shots or yeah yeah like if i'm all right let's say i want to do like some type of war zone style shoot right just something totally off the wall you know maybe get it into rifle magazines or something and uh you know, I look at it and I go, I'm playing heavy metal. So I put on heavy metal and dude, it's just crazy how I start seeing all the stuff from the military coming back through. And I'm like, oh, that'd be a great idea. <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, music does play a big part, especially like yeah. if I want to do a sensual shoot, you know, I'll play, you know, love music, which I know it sounds weird, but it actually makes me think of different ways I want to do something. Yeah, I can see one that. Thing I, yeah. One thing I have to say is that this, of course, it is, but this shot was from, I'll show the shot, is from the time I was listening to too much BB King. Yep. I like that shot, actually. That's I, a nice shot. I just love that shot. 
there is two things that bothers me a bit, like the mm -hmm. ring light in the back light, in the back leg is kind of a bit too strong. It's I on your just, nose. Uh, it's always on my nose, Rob. Come on. <laughs> Stop pointing it out. I think today is the first actually, day in my life. This, in, this, in this shot is actually one of the best times to have it on your nose because that is actually <laughs> going into the dark. So you're good with this one. I, I think today is the first time in my whole life that my kicker is not hitting my nose. He it took me like it. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a million pictures of myself with the kicker in the nose. <laughs> so yeah. So Brian, what, what are you working on right now? Is there anything cool? Anything um, nice? I'm getting one image ready for the art gallery. I submitted another one. Um, this one is a hummingbird. <laughs> Too bad Phil is not on the uh, show right now. Uh, We're still yeah, <laughs> but uh yeah there's a hummingbird that i'm preparing for the art gallery for the um okay. for the next exhibit nice, nice. little yeah 10 by 10 framed on a 14 by 14 with a basically a half inch reveal and a two inch matted border so yeah it looks wow. pretty good it, it'll look so really nice just curious why are you going 10, 10 inches by 10 inches um well the largest my printer will print is 12 by 18 or well, i can run a 13 by 19 paper through it so i chose 10 by 10 because i i kept it at a one to one aspect ratio okay yeah you get it mad at oh yeah it's definitely mad at yeah 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 that's cool but yeah art art museums are they're fun i mean i did one god ages ago and uh I truly enjoyed it, actually. It was fun to have all these people just admiring your work. And the thing is, is they get you out there. And people actually start to notice who you are. Yeah. You know, but what is the deal? The deal is like a gallery you put there, people go yeah. to see it and I mean, buy every, if they want? Yeah, exactly. Every exactly. city has some type of art museum or an art gallery. Mm -hmm. You know, or they sell art. And usually the people that sell art will be the ones that want to hold a gallery somewhere. So, you know, you kind of work with, you know, like a lot of, you got a place out here. It was called Off the Wall. And uh, they do a lot of, you know, uh, reproductions. And we did an art gallery there. And we had a lot of people show up, which amazed me. But, you know, when you, all your images are around, like I when I do art galleries, my images are... 30 by 40s all over the walls nice. it's, it's an it's an impression you know yeah. and i mean but at the same time they are all in one type of story you know like if there has to be a to me there has to be a reason that they're all there you know what i mean like they look <laughs> like they have synergy and you know, like it's it a body be, of work, isn't? Right. Uh, after all, it's a body of work. You, you're not gonna put like three, four pictures from different uh, uh, motifs or different ideas in the same presentation. Right. Like, like look at uh, look at doing one with all dance. You know, just ideas of different dance. So, say like you do a slow exposure with multiple uh, multiple blitz lights. Mm -hmm. And then you could have that dancer like doing her little twirly whirl or whatever, and you could get it all blurred in the one big image. That'd be so sweet. That's one of yeah. my ideas. <laughs> but as you are here, uh, I, I I don't know if I miss it because my English is not that good. But what is about this picture? Is about what? What is the the subject? The oh, you said oh, it's a hummingbird. It's a hummingbird. Yeah, yeah. you said yeah. it's a hummingbird. Yeah, for this for this exhibit is. Um... <clears throat> they they named the theme fins furs and feathers so oh, okay. yeah i didn't have too many fish photos other than them being filleted up <laughs> so i cho chose to go with the uh with the hummingbird hey that'd be pretty cool we just did like you know a fillet like a salmon fillet and stick it on an old wood board that's like charred mm -hmm. and then it has this like deep dark look behind it and it have that nice pink fillet right there I, I think the fish should be alive. 
It's not, it's not, it's not about Japanese no good food, fish you know? alive. <laughs> or get some tuna. <laughs> yeah, hopefully hey. soon get out there and do some more fishing. Right. So yeah, uh, uh, live fish is hard. I mean, you got to go in the water. Well, <laughs> I've been dying to get myself a for a camera so i can do some underwater shots as well yeah you just but, get a case for yours yeah i could but i it's just the thing of do i want to keep investing into my 6d or go into another body then invest with that that's kind of no, like you, a small you, dilemma you, i'm in your 6d is fine yeah they i know but sell, um they sell the underwater casing for it to go down to almost a thousand meters yeah um yeah they're not they're not cheap that's for sure though they're like so 500 the, bucks. Uh, the ones I'm looking at, they're entry level 800 without any yeah. back controls. On on the back controls, about $1,700. You know yeah. that you cost like 10 times more in Brazil, don't you? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> like 10 yeah, yeah. times, exactly Taxes. 10 times more. Ugh. See, that's one thing I want to do is an underwater shoot with some somebody with a bunch of lace and stuff all over. Just flowing in the water. I've always uh, wanted yeah. to do that. I love right. the way water just ref the light reflects through water, it bends, yeah. and it just has it's, cool it's like look the coolest look. stuff. Yeah, and I've never done it. So if any models are out there and you want to do that, hit me up. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, there, there is one shot. I one got a specific a shot. <laughs> I'll look for a shot here on the in Facebook. One of the dudes in the Brazilian group asked how to do uh, some kind of lighting. And I'm pretty sure this was made through a bag filled with water. Let me just find the shoot. Keep talking. The shot, sorry. Well, I've I've seen it where they put like a plexiglass, or yeah, it was a piece of plexiglass, and then they shot through the plexiglass, and it looked like they were in the water, but they weren't actually in the water. It was kind yeah. of weird. Well, in fact, it was, it was cool. kind of was kind of effect. They did with the light, and I'm pretty yeah. sure it's light through the water, lighting the model. But sure. I'm, I'm trying to find here. I know some people use a waterfall with a clear glass. I've seen that done. So the waterfall is constantly making a different, you know, it's making the light just go all different ways. It's pretty right. cool. Um, I've seen people use aluminum foil to make it look like water. Really? Yeah, uh, you crinkle up the aluminum foil, stretch it back out, and then you hit the light onto the aluminum foil, and it'll go in different ways and give it all these cool little texture looks. It's just like water. This shot. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's through a bag. The, the flash is through a bag of water or something. That looks like light painting. I don't know I if think, it's light painting. I think, that, I think that's light painting. I just did something wrong here. Or I don't think actually, actually no, that's that's projection. That's a projection. But how can they make this this movement? It's a projector. That that's mm -hmm. an image that's in the projector, and the projector is shooting it onto her. Maybe. Maybe. There's no maybe. That's what that is. <laughs> 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 I can tell. But yeah. I mean, you could do a ton of stuff with a projector. I mean, I've always wanted to do one where I take the clothing and make the clothing on the person through the projector. I just think that'd be cool. Like a bodysuit. Yeah, that's cool. It would be like body painting, but body painting with a projector. Yeah. I just thought that'd be fun. And then maybe have him wear a hat so it looks like it's all real. Do you know one thing that really kind of, uh, again, just push my creativity really hard? I don't have it, and I'm crazy to buy it, but it's too expensive here. The light blaster. I have one. Oh, I want that stuff so badly. Because you know, I they... have one, and I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> okay, put it in the mail. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Man, you can create really all, all kind of backgrounds with that. All kind of backgrounds. Yeah, but I create backgrounds with wood too. 
Yeah, but that's more cooler because you can put slides and really throw like move scenes, yeah. move scenes behind the person. Sometimes. I tried to build one. I tried to build one. I got a paper box. I put a lens in the end. <laughs> My lens was too too long. It was the focal length was too long. I got <laughs> this in the wall. <laughs> But it's something so, yeah. that really pushes pushes me up. I, I See, really now, want to. I use want to it. do something with fire. I like fire, for some reason. I don't know. I want to have something with flames going all over the place, and the model looks like she's just coming out of the ground, you know, flying. I think that'd be sweet. I don't know. I, 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 I have could those do it. Crazy with ideas. I could do it, but the way I'm clumsy, I would probably put the house on fire. Oh, I'll do it outside. See, with that, kind of shot, I think, with that type of shot, I think I would probably go one of the composites that I've been working on, shoot like some sort of campfire, and that's image one. There's, there's something model. different about all in one shot. You get what I'm saying? It's oh, just yeah. a, can I do it? That's that's my thing is can <laughs> I get it right? Uh, you, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm always on the, you know, the beginners group talking about get it right in camera. <laughs> and I challenge myself to try to do it without using a computer. It's so much harder, but it's yeah, more satisfying. It's so much more satisfying because you, you take those pieces of the composite, right? And that's what I'm talking about when I say storyboarding is mm -hmm. you take those take that composite idea and figure out what do you need for each part of that composite and try to there, recreate it. There is one aspect uh, of creative uh, part of photography that I never master. And I think something that really can give you nice ideas. There is gels. Oh well, yeah. It's the basic, it's the basic, is the basic to, to get creative with, but I never could, the saturation I want from gels. I know it's a matter of distance, it's a matter of how powerful your light is yeah. and all that stuff, but I could never pull it out. I try to make a, a You're doing pretty good behind you. It's different. No, it's not. It's the it exact is. same. It's the exact same. The thing is, is you gotta have a shadow and you don't make your light so intense. <laughs> That's, that's the problem that a lot of people do is they turn that power so high that it actually, it dilutes. The more light you put through it, the more dilution you're getting with the color. Does that make sense? Yeah, and you have you have to deal with the spew of the main light because if it hits something, you're just going to wash the colors out. Well, the only, yeah. the only thing that's going to color is shadow. So whatever you got lit with light, the shadow side is what's going to turn the color. On that topic, I tried to make a model half red, half blue. You mean and like I couldn't I did? Blue. Yeah, you probably. Is there something that you really didn't do yet? Because you never shoot you have so, seven, so there's so many things I've done. Man, we, we went through several pictures of him, like since the beginning of his career. He has, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's not about suck. You have so many shots. You have so yeah, no. many shots. You okay, told me so that. You, I have so many shots that I even forget I have it. Yeah. I mean, there's things that we were looking at. I'm like, oh, I forgot I did that one. Oh. <laughs> that was so long ago. But yeah. Uh, I so mean, what, what is the so, trick for doing it? Because you, you don't want to get the model underexposed. Okay. The split light, how to position the light's okay. But how to bring the saturation without underexposing the model? And to get you that have, perfect split in between, yeah, I can see that being pretty yeah, challenging. Yeah, you still have you still have to get your exposure on that color. So, you know, exposure should still be the same. And once you have the proper exposure on the person, then you bring your lights to meet that exposure. So you dim it down and then just bring it up until you get somewhere in that area. No, no, come back. Let, let, let's do it again. It, uh, I didn't get so, it. So you want about an F5. So you get and the And I'm using face. flash. 
right? I'm using flesh, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so you're going to get split lighting. So you're mm -hmm. definitely going to have it on each side, right? Yep. Coming in. But you want it kind of to the front, just a middle, a little. And what that's going to do is it's going to get into the eye socket. Because if you come from the side, you're going to get black. Or not. Yeah. Right here. So you want it slightly to the front. Now, when you light them, okay, you know where your f-stop that you want is probably going to be like f5, 5.6, somewhere in there. So that way you get the uh -huh. whole face, right? And probably at 1 one twenty fifth of a second, ISO 100, right? Okay. All right. So, so basic now, studio settings. Yeah, it's a it's the basic stuff. So once you get there, I usually do a stop to a stop and a half of light to get really intense color. Down. So yep, if I'm down. shooting F five, I measure my lights uh uh F eight. Somewhere around there, yeah. Because the the intensity of that color is gonna come from the lesser of the intensity in the light, if that makes sense. But because the isn't brighter the person, you make, isn't the, the subject make, gonna get underexposed? No. You still have the exposure. The thing is, is the color is depending on how much saturation of that color you want is the dial down. So you, perfect <clears throat> exposure is gonna give you color. It's gonna give you good color. But it's going to be on point color, so it's not going to be as saturated. Whereas when you bring, like your lights in the back, you had to bring them down in order to make them brighter, to make them more saturated. So the same thing happens like this, like this light right here. You know, that thing's a really weak light, but look how blue it is on, the, on that wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, that thing is probably at ISO... 900 a thousand to get this thing you know but right now i'm at iso 1000 so you know that's how i was able to get that light because it's so dim but you notice the color that color is super rich right there so you know that's the same thing that's happening with your lights you know, if you go too if you go too high at or above, usually that light's gonna dilute that color, so your saturation is gonna be a little less than what you probably want. So by reducing that light slightly, you'll be able to pull more of that color. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You start with maybe working with one light first and get that exposure correct yeah. on flash power, and then move on to the next one till you're happy, Definitely. and then. Yeah. Always work one light at a time. You know, yeah. um, you could have both up there if you wanted to maneuver both. Like I have a, I have a wireless system, so I just and then try it again. Um, you know, try it on a dummy first. Sit there and play on that dummy. And see if, yeah, that's one thing I have to do more. I bought the dummy and I never you use bought it. Kit and you never use it. I need to buy it, man. <laughs> Mine's sitting right here. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I use a dummy all the time. If I come up with an idea, I put I put the mannequin up there, and I want to test out everything I can so I know exactly what I want. So when I pay a model to come in, I'm paying her for literally like 30 minutes because <laughs> I don't want to pay for four hours of me trying to figure something out. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it's all about minimizing the amount of time and money that you have to spend. And by doing that is really through practice. And by setting up an idea, trying it out on a mannequin first, seeing what you like, and then once you, once you got it to where you like it, now you bring it a model. Because then you're minimizing the amount of time that you have to waste, you know, for money. Um, like me, I, I pay $125 a, a model an hour. So, you know, they want to stay with me for like five hours, but they usually get an hour, you know. Yeah. 
and I pay a minimum of an hour, even if I use them for 30 minutes. And that's because they're coming to me. So basically it pays their gas and food and all that other stuff. So, and they seem pretty happy with it. So yeah, you get them a flat rate fee, basically. That's, that's great. Yeah, basically. And if I go over the hour, they get the next hour. I mean, that's just me. Yeah. And you know, every model so far has really liked that. They're like, man, you're the only person that actually pays us if we go over the hour. And I'm like, why not? You know, uh, to me, that's, that's part of, that's their, if it wasn't for them, I couldn't do what I do. Sure. You know, and if it wasn't for me, they couldn't get the images to produce what they can with other, other photographers, you know, it gives them a, an outlet and stuff like that. So uh, again, that's collaboration. That's, you know, once the models really get comfortable with you, sometimes they just want to shoot which is great because I just want to shoot too. So sometimes that happens too. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, some of them will call it to me and be like, hey, I want to get in a magazine. Could you get me in a magazine? I said, I can't promise you nothing. <laughs> I really can't. I don't make the magazine, yeah. you know, but we could come up with a bunch of images, you know, 10 or 12 good images, submit them and see what happens. I mean, mind you, I have 300 and something contacts that, I go contact for contact, you know, I, I throw one out there. I wait one week. If I don't hear anything, it goes to the next one. I do one week. Don't hear anything. Go to the next one. And I'll just keep submitting to each one. And, and they've like got to publish them, on two in the same week. Nope. Not usually. Usually just one will pick it up and it's over. But I mean, I've had sometimes like three weeks later, somebody actually would say something. I'm like, hey, uh, image three and four are already published, so don't use those. You know, just so they know it happens. But, you know, they want to get published. And yeah, I'm going to push it out there and I'll see where, that, where it goes. Um, publishing really is about creativity too. So, you know, you have to have something that they are going to want. And that brings up a good point is uh, themes. Come up with themes. Think of a thing. Oh, we theme. talk about this one. <clears throat> we talk about you that know. friend of yours who got the colorblind theme. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of themes out there. Uh, but if you come up with a theme, like a Valentine's Day theme, Mardi Gras theme, you know, I'm a Mardi Gras fan. I'm from New Orleans. I love Mardi Gras. And it's funny how everywhere else in the world loves Mardi Gras, except for us in Louisiana. We just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> it's Mardi Gras. We just get drunk. So, you know, but, uh, but everybody else loves the bead idea. They love the whole mask masquerade, all that stuff. So it makes for a good theme. And then you get people that want to come take photos for the theme. Right. Um, Sorry. I'm going to have some ideas. I have to, write that down before I forget. Yeah. So, you know, no, you're not. You're writing down my Mardi Gras idea. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I just remember remember that sound, that song called Masquerade. Yeah. And I would do a whole shoot over it. See, that that's actually... I wonder if I could do a Masquerade uh, art... Dude, I can do Mask that. Oh, don't steal my idea. Don't steal my idea. No, I'm talking about like 50 Shades of Grey. Oh, no. I'm going for uh, Seti Moody. Set Moody. Oh, it's Seti Moody. <laughs> Masquerade. But, but I'm Shoot. talking about... Oh, dude, I got a guy that has a mansion that I could use too. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have like Airbnb it. and I rent an apartment and that's it. See, but that's just it. You got to get contacts. It helps. Yes, I do. In fact, I do. So, I think I just found my next art gallery. Masquerade. <laughs> anyway, it was just something yeah. that just came up here. creative. Just sit here. This is awesome. All right. Yeah. It just came up right now because you talk about the mask. I remember the song and I just... Got the idea in my mind. I hey, still can't get the whole split lighting thing out of my head. I, I really want to try that with the gels. Do it. Oh, 
It's really cool. It's really it's cool. Just, I try it, it. It's just I like when you did work. the uh, glass, the glass, right? On black and yep. white. Right. I mean, it really is a challenge. If you're not used to doing it, you really have to think of how that light's bending off of those, those crap off the glass. So, you know, yeah, grab two gels and play around. I tell you what, though, ever since that whole glass challenge, it really opened up my eyes to where lights coming from and how to read the histogram right. And it, it was it was a huge eye opener. That's good. But yeah. you know what? You oh. learn. You learn something. I, by the way, it's about time for us to do it again. Not today, of course. We will not release that today, oh. but it's about time you want to challenge for me it, to challenge you again. All right. That's you, Brian. I all right. It's you. <laughs> I challenge Brian. You didn't you, say my name, you. so I was like, "That's you." <laughs> he wants to challenge me. I always, That's I'm a, always up for. You know, I'm a competitive person. <laughs> both of us. <laughs> yeah, we'll That's the part. See, I, I want to do something with Brillo pads and lighten them up. I don't know what Brillo pads is. You know the it's a steel wool. Yeah, yeah. It oh, just gives it like okay. a sparkle thing all around and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Dude, okay, I was okay. I was sure. thinking taking a bunch of them and putting them on a a, a steel cable, mm -hmm. and then have somebody on both sides going up and down behind the model. I think that'd be sweet. Oh, that would be really cool. Too. If you use if you use a, a slow exposure, it'd be even sweeter. Uh, oh, yeah. A slow shutter. Mm -hmm. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Have the model. You know what I was saying? Fire, right? Doing Man. that, doing that behind them, and then have have like a bonfire in front, so you can see the flames, and have them. Man, and I, I just them have, behind it. I just have the coolest idea. I just have the coolest so idea right now. You can do that. You can get a couple who dance tango. Do you know tango? Yeah. Put it in front and do Whoa. those multi shots with several lights. That you or leave salsa. a trail of the dude. Our salsa, salsa is okay too. That you leave yeah. the trail of the dancers I'm a salsa guy. and all <laughs> that fire behind. We make it, it dude, be amazing. It'd be, it'd be awesome, dude. I think I just got the next shoot. I'm gonna start storyboarding. No, actually, I gotta write that down. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny oh, because, it and this is why we always say that we don't we don't hide anything because this kind of talk is what make things going is what make you learn is what make you have new ideas. Collaboration is the key to some really good images. That's the thing, you know. And I mean, like you do music, right, Brian? Yeah. So I bet you you have an idea of something that you want to do with music. Usually that's how it starts. You know, just like I said earlier, just a little melody just pops in your head and then like, it's kind of too far from there. I've always wanted to get a country artist. So if any country artists are out there, hit me up because I want to do some cool shit. But I was thinking something that's like out in the middle of the swamp and have this old swamp cabin, which... I know a lot of them because I'm from the swamp, but in a swamp cabin, and I'm going to put a gator on there and have them just sitting there with their guitar. Dude, that'd be sweet. Oh, a banjo. I don't want no banjo. Dude, we're not no banjo. We're not, we're not banjo banjo's people. Rock. And banjo's rock, oh, man. Most of these players turn into quite good banjo players. I but, think I'm going to go with Brian on this one because. Banjos are really cool. Guitars are cool. They are amazing. But but do, 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 do. It doesn't matter how it sounds. It matters <laughs> how it looks. And it gives this country feeling, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. I've The people that I've seen down in, in the Creole land of New Orleans, you know, they play with washboards, banjos. Ooh, I mean, washboards. It, yeah, dude, they do some cool stuff, too. I mean, you know, it's music, so you know Zydeco is awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever heard Zydeco. No, never heard that. Dude, you ought to listen to that. And if you ever see the instruments that they're playing to do that, 
you'd be like, what? <laughs> but man, I mean, we're talking a stick with a with one string, and they're just <laughs> I'm like, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go for the banjo, not for the guitar. Remember that. Write it that just, down. It depends. If it's a country artist, I'm going with the guitar. No, the banjo looks better in the picture. Or or a fiddle. The fiddle would be nice. Fiddle would be really cool, especially with yeah. an old wooden, you know, place. I just think it'd be cool. You know that swamp look with the oh, with the moss man. on the trees. Oh, I love that stuff. I eat it up. Horse shoot. A horse? horse? Yeah, horse. I you love like horses? horses? Yeah, I do. Yeah, my uncle, rest in peace, he was a jockey and then became a trainer, so I've been around horses a lot. My they, first job as a boy? The thing is, is with a horse, they have to be really calm because once that flash goes off, I've seen horses dash, like, fast. They flip out. My um, my first job at the age of 14 was in the jockey club. I was <laughs> the delivery dude. Yeah. I was not the horse. I was not the horse. I was just the delivery dude. No, I rode a horse once. Once? And I'll never ride it again. Once? He was a thoroughbred. Okay. You know what race horses are, right? They're uh -huh. like 16 hands high, I guess that's what they call it, 16 hands. This thing was huge. It was an Arabian. And my uncle said, hey, just go ride him around the track for a bit, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. It's a horse. You know, it can't be that hard. Dude, this horse took off, right? Hauling ass all the way. And I'm, I'm like breaking on these reins. This damn thing will not stop. And he was going straight for this big old pond and i'm like you bitch you better not go in that freaking pond dude he hauls butt then he hoofs it and i fly over him and into the pond. <laughs> my uncle and my brother laugh so hard and i'm sitting there like i will never ride a horse again i'm done and you know, i never did. i just i just <laughs> love horses and i used to travel just to ride horses i went to no, other states beautiful. just to ride like horses lot. They, they are beautiful animals, but I won't get on it. Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I'm not telling. Dude, I did a Christopher Reeves that day. And if it wasn't water, I'm pretty sure I'd have been to the same boat as he was. <laughs> dude, I'm not kidding you. It was right over the hill. I, that horse looked like he laughed at me. <laughs> so Yikes. I, it was scary, but... I got out of the water. <laughs> I grabbed the reins of the horse. And I walked his butt back. <laughs> walking, walking, just pulling. Yes, the I was pulling him. I was not going to let him get away either. <laughs> but, but yeah, that was not. That was my one time I was on a horse, and it will never happen again. I'm done with horses. Now, photos with horses is amazing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've had uh, bareback riding. But like, it's riding kind of hard bareback. to get out of the commonplace because there are so many pictures of horses, so many pictures of yep. someone riding to the sundown and all that stuff. It's hard to get out of the, the, the loop and make something different, you know? Well, yeah, it's horses. You can only do so much. I mean, I don't know. I like a nice... You know, female on top of a horse, especially if they okay. had that golden blonde hair. Look like we. I don't know. We have more ten minutes, and we have more people getting in. So, if you want to join us in the live, yeah. here's the link. Just put it in the chat. Just click the link, and come talk to us. So yeah, so we uh, the horses. I always like doing thinking. horses with with the seniors because the seniors with horses always looks majestic. So they have their buddy, their horse buddy, because some of them are with horses a lot, and they have their favorite. So, but they make for good senior photos. I know a lot of parents like them. One thing I have to do, and I have to do it 
Uh, I didn't have an idea yet. I didn't come up with a concept, but I'm selling my bike. I'm selling my motorbike, and I have to make some pictures before I do it. Yeah. Tell your wife to. Hmm? Tell your wife to shoot it. I can shoot it. No, I mean, tell your wife to shoot on it. Oh, to shoot on it? No, I yes, want yeah. pictures of myself on the bike. No. Of course I would. Nobody wants to see you on it. It's probably the last <laughs> bike of my life. I'll never... Uh, uh, I'm kidding. I'm not in the mood to buy another bike or to ride a bike, so probably be my last bike. I need to get some memories out of it. I like my bike. My wife tried to make me sell it. Ain't happening. I don't do more <laughs> uh, I have a... I I have a Triumph, uh, like and I bike? just love that bike since the day I bought it. Yeah. I just need to have something to remember it, you know? Well, think of a really cool, oh, dude, a Triumph. Can you see yourself in front of a barn? Barn? Yes, of course I can see myself in front of a barn. I just have to find a barn. Technically, all you need to do is find an old building and it looks like a barn. Mm. I can see myself in front of a barn. I can see myself in front of an old abandoned gas station. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be really nice. I think I actually have one. Hang on. I did did a shoot for uh, a Harley guy here. And uh, me and him did a bunch of Harley stuff. It was actually pretty fun. But now his whole crew wants me to do theirs, so it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Just share the screen. Yeah, no, I'm trying to find it. I told you I got too much stuff. But, uh, but yeah, like, Harleys are fun, especially, like, group Harleys. I like doing those. Cars is another thing. Oh, cars are great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's so many things you can do with cars. Yeah, but cars are big and hard to shoot. I don't even know where to start. Bikes are kind of easy for me because I saw so many bikes magazines, so I know the angles, I know what I'm looking for, but cars? Cars, cars. I don't even know. With the antique cars, I feel like you go for like, the emblems, the side marker lights, stuff that kind of gives defin- yeah. definition to what the year is, you know, what, what you're working with. Yeah, you you definitely want to get their contours and all their interior work, like the stitching, you know, yeah. things that make their stuff completely different than other people's. Yeah, all the details, you know? basically. Yep. You always want to get details. What I see people doing is what you did with the Terramana uh, bottle. It's like lighting uh, pieces by pieces and yeah. then just stack them up and do a composite. Yeah, because sometimes you can't get an angle with the light without it reflecting back at you. There's so many different angles. You found the Harley dude? No. I got so much stuff on here. But yeah... So, all right, so now we got cars, we got motorcycles. What else do we have? There's just so many things you can do. And yes, I just got an idea. What? Remember the masquerade stuff? It just Ah. grow. It's just growing, you know? It's not just masquerade anymore. Now will be my 10 favorite jazz songs. On pictures. Yeah. All right. So this is the Harley shoot. I found it. <laughs> I had to go back a couple a couple months. Uh, share screen. This one. All right. So this is the Harley shoot. See how the old buildings look awesome with a with a Harley? Yeah, it's just, for sure. It's old old timer, man. 
So I, I did another one with the haze, gray, black and white looks awesome. I love black and white. So black and white's really cool. Now this is what I was talking about. This is an old. This is actually a. Oh, that uh, one is in your Instagram, I guess. That's yeah. That's a public park. And that wall is actually just a, uh, 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 what they call it, where you have picnic tables underneath it. Uh, God damn it. Not part of like the board. A, Planks. No, I'm talking about the location was actually a, um, uh, God dang it, what the hell is the name of it? Um, a... Pavilion. There we go. It was a pavilion. Yep. And the side looked like this. And I was like, dude, pull your motorcycle over there. He's like, really? So I took the shot, right? And he seen the shot and goes, dude, I want a really big one of it. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it was just a cool spot. You know, you had this one light that was right there. It was just getting dark. So I was able to bring my IS or bring my ISO down to make it darker. Mm -hmm. And I, I basically just took the one shot and he was like, that is so cool. So yeah, so That's I got really that cool. one. Now this is what I was talking about with details. Yeah. See the yeah, stuff like that, you know, like ages, emblems. Right. And I mean, I, I like doing this because this is what they like. And I actually told him, I said, hey, dude, you forgot to take the wax out of the centers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was always my point with my bike pictures. Hey, TJ. What's up, TJ? The washing. Do the shout out. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, like this one, you can see the paint. Yeah. You cannot get that paint to sparkle except by hitting it in one specific like angle and you know this and, is a big thing for people who rides custom bike the painting oh, yeah. of the fuel tank dude this, this bike was gorgeous that is tough paint to, to apply that is stuff is no oh, joke I, know. I just guess so the cost to, on that yeah to be able to capture it and and, and illustrate it in a photo like that just, just says a lot and then this is cool I just, the sun came down right as I was shooting. So I was like, dude, I'm just going to capture a sunshot and have it kind of silhouette, mm -hmm. but still see it. <clears throat> so we came up with that. This is the other one that, this one I lit it up. This one is my style. This one is what I like. Yeah. Honestly. And that's one light. AD600? Yeah. That's my favorite light. I use that for everything. Uh, it's hard to fight that sun. With now, something the moon, less powerful. Once the sun went down, the moon came out. Oh, yeah, That was the moon shot. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> yes, I got both of them. One, one freaking shoot. And dude, he, was, he loved them. So, so you but basically went from one side of the bike to the other side of the bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, I literally went like click, click, click. The sun went down, and I turned around, and the moon was right behind me. I'm like, dude, I'm totally gonna. Ch so I flipped around and shot it from the other side. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, this one I used the light. The light was on the right side, and I shot it from right to left. So you can see how that worked. And you can see the sun just went under the, the sky in this tank. Uh-huh. So that I just thought it was cool. <laughs> I, had to, I had to raise the ISO to like almost, I think I was almost at 1,200 to get this shot. So, but it, it came out good. So, yeah. So that tells you what an idea, you know, the idea works when you, uh, Want it to, you know? You know, to talk again about my interest in composites, one of the reasons I've been diving into it slowly but surely is because I've had this vision in my head for a while now of a cosmic surfer, if you will, with a guy surfing down the line 
nice big wave, but now let's turn that wave into like a galaxy, if you will. It's kind of like the silver surfer, if you will. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was it was the first thing I thought. It was well, my I, first thought. In my head, I was thinking a bunch of like rolling stardust. You know what I'm talking about? Like just, yeah, yeah, even like, like particles like a nebula, of meteor, like, like particles of a meteor. Yeah, you know? like flowing. I think that'd be pretty sweet. And then, uh, and then doing something like, uh, oh, have him have like the rings of Saturn going right there. So he's like going up it, cutting. Yeah, that would. Be <laughs> <laughs> I just think that'd be dope. So this would be dope. I'm so old. Uh, <laughs> dude, these kids today don't even know what dope means. So it's totally rad. Yeah, some '80s lingo. Cowabunga, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Only us old fogies know that shit. Oh, but, the uh, cowabunga is a very old one. <laughs> dude, my kids saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the first time, like a week ago, and he's like. Dad, that's so dumb. And I'm like, dude, you don't even know what cool is. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> eh. He's he's an artist, so I guess he's autistic. Can't hold hey, him back. Really does see some of the stuff you sh- um, shared with uh, some of his oh, yeah. Dude, with anytime it. he draws and shows it to me, I take a picture of it because it's awesome. How old is he? He's turning 17, so. Excellent. Yeah, my son's 16, going on 17. In his latest stuff, he's been doing a lot of 3D art and three dimensional art. So it looks like the car is on the paper. And I mean, he'll draw oh. like a, vehicle, a car that looks like a car. And awesome. when you look at it from an angle, it looks like it's actually sitting there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw, I saw some of this on YouTube, and yeah. it's really, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just like, dude, that's so cool. Uh, props to you, because <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, we just reached the time, Rom. Oh, man, we've been talking for an hour and a half. An hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun. I could talk all day, so. <laughs> but I do have a bunch of images that I got to get on, so we definitely... Need to call it a day. Well, well man, thanks for Brian, it's, good. Awesome. it's good seeing you. Yeah, you too, guys. Uh, it's it's really good to see you because till now I never saw your face. So we never really talk in person. This is amazing. Exactly. Oh, that's true. It's great because my profile pic is the uh, the Vehigante mask that I have. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you know, we talk all the time and we communicate all the time, but no one's ever actually seen each other. So this is awesome. Yeah, it is I mean, you see, you see us. <laughs> we just haven't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, no, appreciate you coming on. Yeah, I'm sure you know. I hope you learned something today. Maybe definitely did. I'll, I'll make sure to keep track and write all my ideas down. And yeah, I mean, make I, it that's the most simple. final part. You know, creativity comes from everywhere, and it comes to you at times that you don't even recognize it. So just get make sure you keep a little idea book. Like I keep mine in my car. You know, if I have an idea, I go get out the car and write it down. But it's in the car because it's funny. Most of my ideas happen when I'm driving. I guess because I have no other thing to do but think. So, you know, that, that, and I got another one in my bathroom. Yeah, I have YouTube on my car, so I do. So I just keep watching YouTube videos while I drive. So no time for ideas in the in the car. You watch YouTube videos in your car? Whoa! <laughs> uh, dangerous. Uh, don't care. In Brazil, <laughs> in the states, you get arrested. <laughs> as long as I'm using my seatbelt and I'm looking straight, they're not bothering me. All right, guys. Anyway, guys, this has been fun. This awesome, was guys. fun. Brian, thank you for hopping. Yeah, uh, man. 
Thanks for joining. We're invited anytime you want to just join us. Just join us, Dude, buddy. He, he's like our groupie. He's always <laughs> yeah, <on>. I? <laughs> <laughs> we need we need to get some of the beginners over here because I mean, dude, we got what did we got a hundred and thirty something thousand hundred and thirty something thousand people over there and in, in the beginner group. Dude, they're sleeping. They're, not, they're sleeping. I don't know why they're not up here asking questions because exactly mean, all know. this all this awesome free information that you guys are willing to provide to us and thank you. I'm yeah, I'm tapping into it, you know. Dude, it's like it's like we're trying to help you live so you really can get to know something. You know, that's one thing that we're trying to tell people is to come over here. Like if someone has a problem with their camera or they're trying to figure something out, they want more explanation. We now have the way to show it live and have you do it in front of us. So we know that, you know, you know what I mean? The best part is that we have fun doing that. Yeah. I love it, dude. This is we just this love is, to do it. This is the most craziest thing I've done. I think ever is get myself on video. <laughs> So, you want to use it already? Uh, huh? Did you get to use it already? Oh, I'm, I'm to be here, to be on video. Yeah, I'm totally comfortable now. <laughs> it's the whole path of being on board. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always been on the other side of the camera, but I mean, now it's you know, we just do it like a talking show. We, you know, we just sit here and talk and really get everything going and if we get more beginners in here then we could actually give them advice and have them actually work the camera right here you know so people could see that they know what they're doing and, and we can make more challenges yes looking forward to that challenge so challenge. I'll be by. <laughs> I, i'm gonna really think of a good one i got I, i'm a dream on it I'm gonna write my idea. <laughs> you know anyway, I got some crazy stuff. So yeah, you right. do. Anyway, it's late we're at an hour and a half. So I gotta go get up, and go to work tomorrow. So Brian, yeah. okay, it's really nice to have you here. Yep. For really you and the other side that are still watching you, watching us, thank you. Thank you for your time, and we hope you learned something. You got something that you can use. Thanks, and Alex. Be... We see Brilliant. you in the next week. Excellent, guys. Right? See you in the funny pages. <laughs>